Hi there again, class. So we are still on the topic of porosity. This is lecture 10. And we are going to do some uh, problem solving calculations involving uh, density and porosity. Let's start with an example number one. Uh, it, uh, what is being asked is the uh, porosity of a five uh, gram dried wheat flour sample with a bulk density of 0 0.65 grams per cm cube and particle density of 1.471 grams per cm cube. We have not uh, uh, detailed the uh, density, but if you will follow the uh, definitions, we will find the, the uh, okay, so we have the general formula of porosity as, okay. So we have the general formula as um, the volume of the voids over the volume total. And that is supposedly the volume total minus the volume of the solids over the volume total. The uh, given here are the uh, bulk density, which is 0 0.65 grams per cm cube, and the particle density, which is 1.471 grams per cm cube. If you will look into uh, experimental data, the the ranges uh, the, the the densities of bulk and particle are uh, actually in a range. So you will see that uh, these are just, uh, what to call this, arbitrary values that we are using. So this is based on specific uh, activity of wheat flour, uh, of, of a wheat flour product. Now the, uh, we have to find the, again, we have to find the porosity and the solution for that, well, we already have the general formula of porosity and it should, we have only this two, but let me uh, go back to the definitions of bulk density and the bulk density is the, the mass of the solids over the volume of the uh, sample of the total sample okay, so the volume total and the uh, particle density is the mass of the solids over the volume of the solids all right what do we have here now since we have the uh, porosity given as that, okay, then we can simply solve for what, what, do we, what do we do here? So we find VT and VS because those are what are required for the solution of the porosity. We then, okay, so we have a bulk density equals the mass of the solids or the volume of the total, we multiply this by uh, the row or the bulk density over the mass of the solids, we get, okay, sorry, uh, we also divide this um, with the, so that we get, um, Okay, we get, sorry, that we, we don't multiply this by the MS. We multiply it by the VT or the volume total so that we get, okay, uh, VT is equals um, mass of the solids over the bulk porosity. Similarly, that's what we do with the particle density. We multiply the uh, equation by the volume of the solids over the particle density so that we get the volume of the solids equals the mass of the solids over the 
particle density. Now we have the Vs and the Vt, which we just plug in into the equation so that what do we get? So we have now uh, <clears throat> E, okay, the porosity equals uh, Vt minus Vs over Vt, which simplified is simply one minus the Vs over Vt. And we now plug it, plug in the values of Vs and Vt. We have one minus, what is Vs? We have Ms over uh, the particle density all over the mass of the solids over the particle uh, bulk density. So that, okay, when we simplify this one, we now have, okay, the porosity equals one minus the mass of the solids over the particle density times the density, the, the bulk density over the mass of the solids and the mass of the solids just cancels out and we get one minus the bulk density over the particle density. And thus, since we have those two unknown, okay, we have one minus 1.28 grams per cm cube over 2.6 grams per cm cube. And we get porosity of 0 0.56 or 56%. That is the final answer. And it means that we have the 56% of the volume of the sample being voids, right? And only 44% uh, is flour. Uh, what does it mean? We can still Okay, we can still actually press on the floor or press it so that this porosity or the voids could still be uh, lessened so that when we are carrying the, the floor, you have less volume to be considered or to be, for example, transported by a, by a cargo. Okay, we now go to another example and this time we have soil as the material. Soil is an agricultural material which is very important in plant nutrition. And we have the uh, table given showing a uh, sample of soil that has been uh, put into a cylindrical container. That container was weighed. Okay, that is the weight, wet soil mass. Uh, identified by the GSW and it's 215 grams. The dry mass, the soil, the dry soil mass, which has, which is the dried uh, weight of the, of the soil at, at 186 grams, okay, denoted by uh, GSD. And also since you're not interested with the um, container containing the soil, uh, initially it has been weighed. So the, the, the given wet and soil, soil mass, uh, include, that includes the container, also the dry soil mass. And that the weight of the, the mass of the container is 32 grams. Uh, pardon my uh, interchange of use of weight and mass. Uh, this just should really be mass, okay? Um, the cylindrical container has dimensions of D and H as given, five centimeters and 6.5 centimeters respectively. And when the uh, soil mass is uh, uh, immersed in water, the displaced water volume is 65 ml. We know that the, we assume that the uh, density of water is one uh, gram per cm cube. And thus we, oh, sorry, we can 
simplifying the volume of the water, you can simply convert it to cm cube. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I had to mention the density. It's not related. Uh, well, so given we have to find the bulk density and the particle density, and after that, the porosity. We already uh, showed the formula for porosity, porosity based on the bulk and particle density. And that should be easy to, to do uh, from the previous example. But we now have to first find the bulk and particle density in the given case or the scenario. Now, uh, we have the given, okay? We have the given um, G S W equals 215 grams. We have the dried sample at uh, 186 grams. Okay, the mass of the container at 32 grams. We have the dimensions. We have the dimensions of the container, five centimeters, and height is 6.5 cm. Now we have the volume of water displaced at 65 ml or 65 uh, cubic centimeters. Now we have to find the um, bulk density uh, denoted by rho b, the particle density denoted by uh, rho p, and the porosity. Now, uh, for 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 the bulk density and the uh, particle density the given is sufficient enough. Okay, we don't have to find any, any other or assume whatever uh, constants there are. Um, so we just directly go to the computations and we find that the bulk density is actually the mass of the solids. Okay, the mass of the solids, as we have shown all earlier a while ago. Uh, sorry, a while ago, uh, the mass of the solids over the total volume, and we have the mass of the solids as the GST minus the mass of the container, all over the, the volume of the container, which is pi r squared h, since it's cylindrical, and we have, okay, we just further simplify this, since uh, what we need is the uh, radius. So this is pi over d over 2 squared h. And we should be able to get, uh, but we just uh, simplify or plug in the values. Okay, we have 186 grams minus 32 grams uh, all over okay, the pi times we have the uh, this, uh, diameter over 2 squared times the height, 6.5 cm. And we have the bulk density at 1.21 grams per cm cube. For the particle density, uh, in a similar fashion, we just make use of what is given. Okay, we have the particle density noted by, or solvable by the mass of the solids over the, mass, the volume of the solids. But what is this? Okay, here's the trick part. Uh, if uh, we already have the volume of the water displaced, this means that this is the uh, volume of the solids since the water will enter the pores of the material and well, fill up the voids. This is not actually perfect if, if you are going to, uh, because, because yeah, there would be sometimes bubbles inside the the um, soil uh, voids or the spaces. But let us assume that this is a, a, a perfect scenario. And so we have um, the mass of the um, mass of the solids, okay, over, since the Vs is also the Uh, the, the, the water volume displaced, okay? And we have um, GSD minus 
MC, similar, okay, as before. And we have here the VW. We, have, we, have, we get now 186 grams minus uh, 32 grams all over 65 ml, or that is 65 uh, cubic centimeters. We get now the vertical density at 154 grams over 65 cm cube, and it is equal to, please use your calculator, that's 2.37 grams per cm cube. We now can then find the, uh, um, what do you call this? The, the um, porosity, and that is uh, the porosity is as uh, based on the equation that we used a while ago. It's the particle one minus uh, the bulk density over the particle density, and we get one minus uh, 1.21 grams per cm cube uh, over 2.37 grams per cm cube. We can simply solve this at easily. Okay, the porosity is equal to 0 0.1.21 over 2.3. Um, okay, so it's this is 0 0.51. So we have the porosity at 0 0.49 or 49%. Okay, so uh, these are very simple calculations. Uh, we have the, also the material and uh, material and apparent densities. Okay, uh, the apparent is with regards to the wet soil mass. Okay, and yeah, so um, the material is related to the true density, the material. Now, um, we will be dealing next uh, in the next topic the dielectric properties of um, agricultural and biosystems materials. Until then, thank you.